I didn't understand my raw, unrelenting testosterone would produce something so powerful well, so November quickly. November is no not November. Well, I, can, I certainly am not going to so do we're, that. We're going to join the I, I, I could not. I could absolutely not do that. I think it goes against the natural order of things mm. to not come. Yeah, that's right. God wants us to not. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> he said in the Bible, go forth and multiply. <laughs> what did that mean? That means bust a nut, kiddo. Yeah, that's why it comes out at night if you don't touch yourself. Yeah. Well. <laughs> God's like, I'll do it myself. Yeah. And he, he jerks do I have he to do you, everything? You while you're sleeping. I think, the Holy was, Spirit I think it was God himself who said, stand back and stand by. Yeah. <laughs> For all this come. Stand back yeah. and stand by. <laughs> they, they, there should be some, like, you know, fictional analogy for kids to explain wet dreams, like the tooth fairy. <laughs> Only it, like they suck you off, <laughs> but it's if you've if you've done something good but didn't tell anyone. Kids, it's time to learn the story of gay Santa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Ravi's been sucked off by a fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Got me. <laughs> Fuck. All right, I quit. Yeah, that's a new. That, I think that's a new record in terms of start time, man. Yeah. Uh, welcome to Loud Boys, everybody. <laughs> We were just starting off with classic riffs like uh, Gay Santa <laughs> and Robbie's Gay. Uh, we got a, a guest here today. Yeah. Chris from Brooklyn's here, everybody. What's going on? He's Thanks got, for having me, guys. He's got a new podcast, huh? Yep, it's called Notes of a Goon. I've already been called the N-word on the iTunes reviews. It's nice. pretty great. Congratulations, That's a sign of a good man. podcast. Yeah, yeah, it's, Hard it's R or soft A? Soft. Oh, Dalton Ooh. and I had a, had a good dude. We had we had <laughs> such a funny bit last time. We were saying that biracial people should only be allowed to say half of the N word. <laughs> so just just nig. Yeah, <laughs> they either get the first three or the last three, but they don't get all six letters. <laughs> well, I feel, I, I feel like saying that is just as bad as saying the full word. Well, the no, guy, I think like that's like common. No, you don't know what the rest of the word I was going to say. That's true. Well, the guy who there's was, only like a. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, no, the guy who uh, the guy who uh, beat up Jared from Subway in prison, his name is Steve Nick. Oh, mm-hmm. really? Yeah. I, thought it was, I thought it was Jeff well, Quizno. Oh, he's, he's, he's Chinese. He's a white supremacist. He's oh, a wow. white supremacist named Steve Nick. Well, and he has to be. Yeah. He's and like, he, I got, I'm reappropriating the name. I was saying the same thing. I think he should get a foot long in prison. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Nobody made that joke at the time. Yeah. <laughs> that was like every open mic. Oh. Uh, everyone did the same. He's going to be eating fresh. Yeah. But he, it's no, like, he was eating fresh. Oh, he's yeah. Get the oh, right. I'm surprised he's still alive, too. I mean, no, honestly. he's doing prison exercises. He's jacked now. Yeah. <laughs> and on top of like the, the subway diet, he's he on. Joined, he joined well, the Aryan he, Brotherhood. He was rich in like buying protection in like how much is Newport's? Like I, was, yeah. I actually was just looking at the price of stuff in uh, California commissaries uh, and like things are expensive, but it's still just like Vienna sausages. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You can buy somebody off for a couple cans of Vienna sausage, and then they're, they'll, they got your back for a couple weeks. That's it? Really? Sausages? Dude, you know how much the firefighters make in California fighting the wildfires from the prisoners? A dollar an hour. Really? Yeah, it's pretty cheap to get protection. I can't prison. believe that's what our tax dollars are paying for. Slave labor, <laughs> prisoners baby. Prisoners to fight fires. <laughs> <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> the tax and spend Democrats. Jesus <laughs> Christ, dude. That's tax- Newsom. <laughs> Taxation really is theft. That's true. Yeah. Well, you think, no you thi- wait, you think the prisoners should be paid less? <laughs> yeah. Y- y- they should make zero dollars. Yeah. Hour. If, well, you, they can't, should get if time- you can't do the time, don't do the crime. <laughs> yeah. I think like that should take time off their sentence instead of like kind of like any kind of financial. Because the, the whole point of prison should be rehabilitation. But there's so much money to be made yeah. that there's no way they're, they're going to change off just like because of like a morally good idea. Like there's too much money. There's like an entire financial empire set up by our prison industrial system. That's capitalism, baby. I it's know. Also, the uh, corrections unions are super powerful. Yeah. And everything like that was the number one. One, uh, the number one donator against recreational marijuana in California was the corrections officers union because they'd have really? to forgive yeah. all those criminals and like deplete yeah. so much for so, so, yeah. They'd well, marijuana prison guards they'd be obsolete. Mm-hmm. Mar- marijuana makes you like violent though. That's, That's true. true. <laughs> Every time have I you guys smoke- seen Reefer Madness? I believe I believe the term <laughs> is cool, Robbie. <laughs> when you smoke a left-handed cigarette, you <laughs> get a little wacky. <laughs> Shout out to Robert Mitchum, dude. Yeah. My dad used to be a he was a correction officer for many, many years. And uh So you've been fucked in the ass. Emotionally. That's why you love to correct me on this podcast. Yeah. Dude, I'm all about rules and authority. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> 
Robbie. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong, Robbie? Nothing. I don't know. I Dalton thought, grew I up lawful evil. Robbie grew up neutral good. No, I was neutral all... Goodwin. Yeah. And I then I was. That's I, actually my full name, Robbie yeah. Neutral. And Goodwin. I feel like I grew up true neutral because I'm just completely. You are for sure chaotic neutral. Oh, Robert, how could you say something accurate like that? <laughs> it's a trending chaotic evil. Can you guys, oh my goodness! Can you guys not talk in D and D terms because I that's satanic. Oh, get out of here, dude! You were probably like a dungeon master in high no, school. No, I wasn't man. allowed to play because we were really Christian. Yeah, that made you probably want to play it more than ever, nope. man. I'm I looking was... forward. I'm trying to get some double D and D. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, yeah, one of them big titties. Yeah. Wait, so your dad is a super Christian correction? No, dad. no, they're we're not religious anymore. But like growing up, we we tried to be. We were oh. Baptist. It was like the illusion. Where was it? Like if we all pretend we're religious, God will believe it. But no, now, now it's funny because within the last few years, my dad's gotten really into Rogan. Uh-oh. And Hell call, yeah, yeah, dude. He calls he's a lot of shrimp. He's microdosing? No, so he calls me all the time, and he's like, man, I can't wait to retire because I can finally do drugs. Cause, Whoa. Because he's like, he works for the government, and he's like, I can't do drugs right now because they piss test me all the time. But the second I retire... I'm gonna do. I'm. He's like. I'm gonna do some mushrooms. <laughs> Damn, that's cool. Yeah. I'm saving mushrooms for my birthday. I was gonna do them earlier, like this weekend. But I'm like, no. I'm gonna wait a couple of weeks. When's your birthday? Birth- October nineteenth, baby. Happy I'm birthday. A, thanks, man. I'm a Libra. I'm nervous. I'm turning thirty six though. Damn, you're old as shit. I know, dude. I can't believe I'm still alive. That's I am gross. genuinely shocked that I'm still alive. It wasn't supposed to make it past 25. Yeah. Joke's on you. We still alive. Shout yeah. out Kanye West. Nobody likes you when you're 23. <laughs> Imagine being like 36. 36. <laughs> like, well, like I remember I was watching like Office Space recently and like one of the lines in that was like, you know, you, you got to have this job when you're in your 30s, man. Oh, and nah. I'm like, oh, shit. I have an office job in my 30s. I hate that shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, because when I was a kid, when I watched Seinfeld, I was like, these are like old adults. Yeah, and then I mean, in the show, they're like, I'm 31. I know. <laughs> it's like, like, oh, no. <laughs> They, Fuck, all, they looked like shit to be in their 30s. Well, well, George did. They all looked like late for Michael Richards was like 45 when he signed on to do this show. But yeah. yeah. Well, weren't all the fucking Saved by the Bell kids like 28 when they were supposed to be 14? Yeah, and Greece, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The guy, uh, Kanicki in Greece. Was he, that was that the one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's like in his 40s and he's playing an 18-year-old. Yeah. yeah. Damn. That's so cool. He yeah. recently said that, uh, I think in his autobiography, he said that he once woke up and John Travolta was blowing him. Cool, really? man. Great, great way That's to wake cool. up. Yeah. Man, who would you who would you guys like to wake up to blowing you who has to be like a man? Peter Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, J- Jason Momoa. Mm. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. That is good. Uh, yeah, I'd probably want to pick like a feminine. Can tr- do trans women count? No, come no, on. They're, <laughs> no, they're, I got you. I not. got you, Joe. You, you, you always say they're men. <laughs> <laughs> I made you woke for this one hypothetical. <laughs> Joe, say it. Say they're women. <laughs> Folks, we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. Because uh. my answer is Natalie Mars. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Damn. Chris, you ever, you ever watch trans porn? <laughs> <laughs> I honestly did. I tried to watch a tranny fucking a chick that like a porn chick that I liked mm-hmm. once. And I just couldn't get hard. I it's tried. hard. It's oh, weird. Oh, dude, right? I love that. I like it better when it's a lesbian, like a trans woman with a lesbian. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so that I, rocks. I couldn't do it. I, 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 I was like, I'll give this a shot. This seems less gay than all the dudes I'm jerking off. There to. is something <laughs> weird. There's something kind of unsettling yeah. about the brother, it. I something unnatural. <laughs> I would say. <laughs> I've, I've gone so far down the rabbit hole. The other day, I was just watching a trans woman suck her own dick. Oh, oh, oh I mean, I would watch. <laughs> you jerked to that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I couldn't come, oh, but dude. I would, I would <laughs> watch the whole. Thing. Robbie, timestamp this for sure, dude. I don't want people to know I do this podcast. You watched, man. You watched Rhonda Jeremy. <laughs> I did, yeah. I watched Ronda <laughs> Jeremy throw her legs over her head and suck her own dick. <laughs> suck it on my Jesus. dick. That's nuts, man. She had nuts. Whoa. That is I mean, nuts. I would definitely watch that entire video. I just probably couldn't. Not from like an erotic there point are of view. No, yeah, so you watch it like a scientist. Like yeah. Well, like, I know, have like to study this. How hard it is to suck your own dick, and then you got to get titties out no, of No, they have huge dicks, though, so they, they reach <laughs> their mouths. Your titties. These are such a hassle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. Oh. How do I Why get? did I buy these silly things? Ugh, oh, the struggle of being a woman. The girls get in the way when I'm trying to suck my own dick. <laughs> <laughs> Dalton and I are big fans of calling titties the girls. Yeah, yeah. We love calling titties the girls. <laughs> I call them milkers. 
because I think all <laughs> women are motherly in their own way. <laughs> And I like the idea that nourishment comes out of them. I, like, I think I that's, like, like, powerful, dude. Do you even trans says, women? What? Do you even trans women? Oh, come on, dude. Can we, like, <laughs> drop this disgusting topic? I mean, empowering topic. Empowering, <laughs> Joe, cool, inspiring topic. Joe, what do you have, do you have against beautiful trans women? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> I want this to be, like, an underlying theme throughout the podcast that we chip away at season by season until my character development is full circle. Yeah, and it turns out Joe's trans. I am trans. I mean, uh, we'll have to save that Josephine. for... Chip yeah. Chipperson. <laughs> um, Dalton and I had fun last night. Oh, but yeah, that we had a good-ass time. What did you guys do? We went to... Uh, so, I got... I got uh, I judged Fight Club last night. I got uh, asked like last minute because Gino dropped out. Gino did bail. Yeah, which is which is funny because um, I guess Gino's banned from Tiny Cupboard, right? Yeah, yeah. he he had a classic. Uh, they say there's certain words you can't say nowadays, but and he just said all the words. And yeah, people were like, the, "Tiny Cupboard's like a super woke like Brooklyn venue that this week got a bunch of influx of like New York Times readers because they got profiled in the New York Times." Mm -hmm. I want to believe that these like at least like upper crust like Brooklyn liberals like went to Tiny Cupboard and just immediately saw Gino just like yelling slurs at them. You know what I mean? Wasn't it like Natalie Cuomo? Like, it was like compound. Like Aaron Berg went went up right after him and did fine, from what I understand. Aaron has weirdly. Aaron's better at like getting away with There's it. There's just like Gino a charm just kind of like, and I love Gino, but he'll just like go like just fucking. Oh, I think, yeah, he's hilarious. But I, I did a show. I did one of these stand up New York park shows with him down in Battery Park, and I went first. And I was like, thank God, I don't want to have to go after fucking Gino. And he went last. Yeah. And I was like, he just. I couldn't believe he was just doing his regular incredibly racist act yeah he outside. has nothing else i did berg's <laughs> i did berg show at uh new york comedy club and he and gino hosted and i was up first mm. and uh, he did the he, yeah he went up there and he just was like you know he did his thing uh -oh. talking about how you know jews deserve to get killed in the holocaust or you uh -oh. know whatever he says and he goes up all six thousand he, uh, he was like this next guy loves pumpkin spice latte so he's a faggot robbie goodwin everybody <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, G Gino's, just, Gino's just a cartoon character. Oh, um, man. He's just an old dude, man. He's been doing that shit. I saw. I mean, I think he has chops. Him. Like, his timing oh, is yeah. really, really good. And he's, like, he's a really funny, funny guy. Yeah. That's just, like, his shtick, though. Like, he's just been doing that since the 90s. I, the first mm. time I saw Gino do stand up. Uh, Chris, could you hold the mic a little closer? Oh, yeah. Right? It was, like, 2001. You know, oh. it was the same shit. Like, he's been doing it forever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's. It, I think it's a thing of, like, audiences have changed and gotten more sensitive mm. and he's also like doubled down a little bit i think he's like oh you think i think i'm gonna say that I well think i will say in, I, yeah. in his longer act like his hour he has a better way of like coaching it being like look these are just words people and we need to be able to laugh at everything i laugh at everybody blah 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 but when it's just a 10 minute showcase set he's like jews fucking black people you know what i mean and it's like right. it's just it a also lot more. doesn't help that he, he's wearing a shirt that says anti-woke True, <laughs> and, and and a it's Punisher so cool. and a Blue Lives Matter. A Blue Lives Punisher. Matter Punisher pin. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? But you know what? Shout out Gino. We should Gino, go on. We Gino rocks. Yeah, we should have Gino on. Uh, so anyway, I replaced Gino, mm -hmm. which is funny because s having said all that, like th the crowd got like pulled back when I, I ironically stand Trump at points because I just kept saying like. Don't be rude to the president. We have to pray for his speedy recovery. Well, no, uh, that wasn't it. it was, you weren't there when Mark Henley went up and already did that bit. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I, just, I just did his bit. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. All right. No, but then I said something else about Trump, and they groaned. Uh -oh. And then my, Matt was like, you double down on your loving Trump. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> shut up, Matt, you dumb bitch. <laughs> we are getting all garnered with him after this. Yeah. But anyway, it was good. I actually did really well. Some fucking yes. some redemption for that. Uh, for the one Chris and I uh, judged last time, where we went up at I like think one a.m. Just a dead crowd. Yeah, yeah man. right. That last one. Yeah. Yeah, it was just a dead crowd. Yeah, I we mean, started I like we one a.m. at Tiny Cupboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it was at Tiny Cupboard yesterday too. No, it was at. Uh, it was Dalton's in my house. backyard. Yeah. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where the fuck was that? In Bushwick. It was great. It was really. It was really, really fun. fun. We got trashed after i didn't get that trashed oh, i got really i'm you got trashed i'm you're so fun trashed by the way thank you're you are always you trashed no i'm not i feel like the last time i saw you you were fucking like i'm hammered yeah. i'm hammered well i mean in quarantine yeah but before quarantine i was like two years sober <laughs> <laughs> nah yeah. dude you were always trashed. actually man. no i take that back yeah. i tricked myself into believing i was sober but i was really addicted to kratom mm. oh yeah yeah. It's so much worse than just having some drinks. Yeah, I know. That's what right? we call the devil's trade off. Yeah. 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 
I'm yeah. taking it easy. I'm just going to inject this opioid that's going to... I didn't inject it. I would mix it into a vitamin water. Well, you love to inject into conversations, Dalton. Yes. Yeah, that's Thank true. Yes. But I was really <laughs> addicted to Kratom. I was taking probably about an ounce a day. Oh, my God. And I kicked it a few weeks ago. It was Thank hell God. on earth. So, yeah. Withdrawing. Wait, did you go through withdrawal? Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. I was is, in it like, is it like dope? Like the withdrawal? I've, I've never had to come off of like heroin or oxy or anything like that but coming off of this i was uh, i was in bed for like three days just shaking mm. it sucked i mean look you can go to yokratum.com they're the home of the yeah, home, yeah. Home, <laughs> of the, home of the 20 dollar kilo 60 dollar kilo 60 dollar kilo yeah i mean if you're doing an ounce a day you're gonna need a kilo yeah yeah i love how lewis somehow attracts sponsors that are like all right so we got a special deal on a kilo <laughs> like, yeah dude you're talking <laughs> about giving me a fucking van to tour it yeah. when, when i <laughs> when i was kratom. we're gonna have to use this pillows really yeah yeah. When, when I was taking it's so funny because at Skank Fest last year the sponsor was uh, CBD and he's like yeah so now it says CBD is gonna be kratom this year I'm like dude that's gonna be weird shows that's, man that's doubling down everyone's just gonna be I t- I'll tell you what though when I was kratom does rule, though. when I was hopelessly addicted to kratom that sixty dollar kilo was nice yeah I bet man yeah Woo! home of the sixty dollar CeeLo ooh CeeLo yep. green yeah CeeLo green yikes that's, that's, he raped a woman though that's true yikes not a fan yep. anymore. Forget it was a, you. It was a <laughs> not, e- not even fuck you. I see Forget you. you. Yeah, the radio edit. I see, I see you. you raping a woman without her consent. I'm like, forget <laughs> you. <laughs> Damn. I guess the pill in your pocket wasn't enough. <laughs> He's a rapist, folks. Yeah, not a We're fan. We're punching up. Although I think we can, we can uh, still like, what was his earlier group? Oh. Gnarls Barkley. Yeah, we can still like Gnarls Barkley. Of course. Yeah. Does that make me? Am I a rapist? <laughs> <laughs> Is he in Goody Mob too, CeeLo? I have no idea. Oh, I, dude. I'm fucking old. By the way, I was on, on H, or I think it was either Prime or HBO, and they have a Black Voices section, and their version of Black Voices is just any movie with a black guy in it. Like, they had Matrix Reloaded in there. And <laughs> oh, yeah, Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> and one of them. And Jada Pinkett Smith. One of, them, one of the Black Voices was... was uh, the Fat Albert movie. <laughs> oh yeah, I love this awoke person like being like, can't wait to watch this Bill Cosby movie. <laughs> yeah. Well, they they can say like, well, at least I'm supporting Keenan or Thompson. Uh, Thompson, yeah, yeah. Now, now the thing, you gotta be woke. My voice should not be silenced. Um, this young man gotta pull their pants up before I rape him. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Chris, uh, have you have you gotten any? Pussy during quarantine? Or the one that I live with, yeah. Oh, oh. You, you're just seeing somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your cat? Yeah, mostly my cat. Hell yeah. My, right. my girlfriend here and there, though. That's you know? cool. right on, man. Yeah. I, 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 do you think uh, quarantine has strengthened the relationship? In the beginning, for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was actually just talking about this the other day. I'm like, I was doing an Irish Goodbye podcast, but I was like, she just finally went back to work and she was like, I don't know if I want to. And I was like, no, you need to go back to work. I think that's probably. Yeah. I have seen two. We're out of mm. stories. Like we've been together long enough where we don't really have much to say anyway. How like, long have you guys been together? Like eight years. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Dude. So it's yeah, like, yeah. so it's like you need to go back because I work from home. So like I was working from home before this. So it's like I I like have other stuff to do, but I'm home a lot. Right. And like just like no, you've got to go back to work. And she's like working. Uh, she's working for a TV show, so she's like getting COVID tested twice a week. Mm. And I'm just like, that's pretty sweet that uh, I don't have to. What worry show about now? Can you say? Uh, I'd rather not. You okay. Know, uh, you know, we were disparaging trans people earlier. That's true. I yeah. was no. I'm very pro. Tune into Shrill season two, everybody. Yeah. This uh, this fall. Hell yeah, man! That's, that's powerful. That's stuff. good. You got you got yourself a stable home. Yeah. Because my life has descended into chaos. Well, you got didn't you get some <laughs> pussy like a few weeks ago? I uh, I paid to have sex with a Russian prostitute. <laughs> And then I had a nice little fling. I, I'm trying not to talk about this on the show that much anymore because. Uh, I think she's a good lass. Robbie? <laughs> why don't you, I need you to chill out, dude. <laughs> Wait, is this a girl that everybody knows? Yeah, it's they I, know of her. It's an Irish girl. Is it? There's, there's she was at. She was at the uh, that fight club that we come were. Come on, come on, Rob, Robbie. She was on the show. <laughs> No, no, she was just no. hanging out. Oh. Yeah, but we had it. We had a we had a good time, and now she's back in Dublin. <laughs> so that's, n- that's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We I, all, I, miss, I miss her. All's well that ends well. I miss man. her too. <laughs> Me three, dude. We all I miss feel her. Like, I feel like I know her at this point since I know, you know that we said to stop talking about her, but 
we are having a weekly segment. The Loud Boys, uh, uh, shout out to Dalton's girlfriend. Well, no, Everybody, I didn't know. Yeah. A fuck we just want to say hi from across the pond. Fuck, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't show y'all what... So wait, she listens to this? She listened in the last episode. Uh-oh. So she and knows that you popped your cherry with a Russian prostitute two weeks before I you told, started dating I her? I told her that the night we had sex. Dude, that is a down-ass oh, bitch. Yeah, yeah, Yo, yeah, yeah. You she should rocks. not have let her leave the country. I told her to stay. She's like, I you gotta go. Yeah. Yeah, you should have done like, that, you man. You know, like most chicks, like if you just <laughs> mentioned prostitutes around them, they're like, ew, gross. I'm like, what? No, I told you her. You should have been like, now's a better time than ever to be in America. I told her <laughs> I told her I popped my cherry with a Russian yeah. hooker, and she said, that's cool, but I wish I could have been the one to take your virginity. Yeah, I heard someone else say that she was mad. I don't know how she heard about it. Because at first I heard she listened to the show, but apparently she doesn't. I don't know, man. Do we got to stop talking about her. She's drunkenly told me about it four times. Yeah. Mm. Oh, true. Yeah, Dalton tells a lot of people. I told a lot of people things last night, too. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Loose I, lips. Look, we don't have a lot chips. of stories these days. We're stuck at home. And, you know, what stories we have, we But we're share. stronger at home. Yeah, that's true. Stronger apart or whatever. You gotta respect the Wait, office. what happened? So, wait, Dalton, what happened? She, she listened No, she listened to last week's uh, episode and sent me a message. Just At first, I thought she was upset because she... Uh, mentioned one of the jokes, some joke you guys told, and I was like, "No, I would, I would never say that about you." And she was like, "No, I'm fucking with you. It's fine." She's and we had a back and forth for a little bit, but we gotta stop talking about her. Well, uh oh, hey Dalton, you know it's it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Yeah, That's true. Willie shakes said that. Who's gonna ride your wild horses? Another. Would you like to write her a letter? Uh, yeah. All right, maybe you should maybe you should do that. Well, I guess we get now. We got to talk about uh, me shitting my pants the other night. <laughs> Wait, we're not done talking about Fight Club light last night. Oh yeah, we did poppers. Well, you did. No, Dawn was trying to pressure me. You were just huffing Rush. They were doing yeah. it, and they were like chanting, including Harrington was like chanting like Robbie. Do poppers, and I was like, I don't want to do poppers, well, man. Yeah, it just makes your face warm for a while. Yeah, yeah it makes your face really you hot. Got some, you got some on you? I'll do some. I don't. I wish I brought. I'm. A, I, yeah, I should have brought them. Damn. Damn. <laughs> like man. five minutes ago, Don was like, I gotta not they do poppers like anymore. Downstairs, like you just get them at the I, store. That's what I. Robbie said he's never seen them anywhere, and it's like they're at every bodega in New York. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll do them. Ooh, look at this, dude. Robbie, you gave into peer pressure so easily. I man. actually stood pretty damn so the pressure was on last but, night. But like uh, for the podcast. Some of, some of the people were pissing me off because I you were like not wanting to do them and I was like, "Come on guys, let's stop. He doesn't want to do them." And one of the people there opened the bottle and like pushed it to your face. And I go, "Don't do that cuz Oh my god, who, get who was that? Yeah. Who did that? Let's I, just say she's the king of comedy. Oh, it was Katu <laughs> King. I can't believe she would do that. <laughs> Katu, why would you try to dose a good guy like Robbie? Look, I wasn't there. All I'm hearing is is the story, but from my point of view, that that kind of seems like assault. Yeah, I'm the Burt Kreischer of. Uh, I get uh, dosed by my friends. Jesus, and I guess that means Katu is like an Ari Shafir. How whack is that to get dosed with poppers? I didn't get dosed though, but Dal- Dalton intervened. But she was thank, like, "Thank God, dude." Dalton was like, "I'll take the poppers instead." It's n- I don't know how fun <laughs> yeah. of a I don't know how fun of a drug it is, it's but not it's very funny. Dalton did the slow mo like it's dive in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> super cheap, super it. stupid. Yeah. Like, yeah, I had a buddy who got thrown out of high school because he had a jar of Rush fall out of his bag. And his teacher was like, what's this? And he was like, my asthma medicine. And the teacher opened the jar, not knowing what it was, and went, I just got super. Oh, oh my wow. God. That's awesome. <laughs> we had a teacher to sniff asthma medicine, though. Come on, man. Come on, Because he man. knew it was an asthma medicine. I think he just assumed it was like a shot of some sort of liquor. Oh. Because, you know, whatever. It looks like five-hour True. energy, but True. that didn't exist back then. Yeah. Yeah. That's so funny. That's awesome, <laughs> the man. The teacher just did gay the sex. Funny was everyone was so – one guy got like ho- – I think you birthed an addict last night, Dalton. Oh, one no. One guy was asking you like every – Oh, uh, Johnny? Yeah. Well, apparently – Johnny Smallhands? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Because he – apparently he used to live in Amsterdam, and they did them all the time there, and he was like, oh, I haven't done these in a while. Every and three minutes, he would like be like, hey, man, can I get some poppers? Nope. And then he'd come to me and be like, you're really funny, man. And I was like, dude, you're kind of going for those poppers a lot. Are you I right? was surprised yeah. at how much. Jo- Johnny is a ball of drugs. Like, yeah, you okay. do not have to worry about Johnny. Like, yeah. jo- uh, at Skankfest last year, I was sitting waiting to do a spot. And I look over. And he hadn't been there before. I look over. And Johnny is sitting next to me, sweating, tripping balls with, like, ten, wearing 10 light sticks, like glow sticks. <laughs> and I was like, when would you get here? He goes, I've been here. 
he wasn't there the first time. I, and then I like when I got up to go do my spot, he was gone. I like I just, like, he's fucking just bad always man. On dr- he's just always <laughs> on drugs. Like he's literally just like I like he'll like you'll you'll run into that dude. He'll be like you'll be talking for like an hour and he'll be like yeah I t- took some acid a few hours ago. I was like what, really. And, like, every fucking time I see that kid, he's on acid. Dude, what the fuck? He Damn. seemed just like a regular... Acid is surprisingly functional, though. I'm I do sure, like, the more you it. do it, you get, like, a better control over yourself. Uh, only because, like, there's, like, Yeah, probably. Well, you just get lower tolerance. Well, yeah, you your just brain take, is but then, just... then people like that take more so they yeah. can trip hard, you know? Like, anyway. Okay, so I'm glad you didn't birth the addict because after I was like, dude, you're going for that a lot, man. And he was like, I'm okay, man, but that's so nice of you to care about me. Like, he seemed genuinely touched. he's probably on acid. Yeah, all right. Yeah, there you go. Honestly, he was probably on acid. Because I was yeah. like, I don't think Popper's... This is weird that he's flooded with empathy. Well, it is a gay <laughs> sex drug. True. Yeah. yeah. You got to be empathetic to have sex with a man. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Because, honestly, gay guys are very empathetic. It's like, oh, my buddy needs to fucking bust a nut, man. Yeah. <laughs> <What> <laughs> empathy <laughs> Let me help is him out. gay. What's that? Empathy is gay. That's true. That is the, probably the only true statement on this entire yeah, podcast. Yeah, it's true. Caring about other people. That's why Trump's the least gay guy in America. Uh, for sure. To, and praise be to Allah. He's out of, he's out of, uh, he's out of uh, the hospital. Yeah. Oh, my God. Incredible way, recovery. The last time we recorded this podcast, the tax story like broke. I'm like, oh, shit. The ta- That's like not even a story anymore. That was like a huge bombshell. So much shit happened this week. It's crazy. Dude, I recorded a show that comes out tomorrow. The title of the episode is The President Has Cooties. And he no longer has cooties. Yeah, it's he's over. He feels better than he did 20 years ago. I guess ago. the he question said, he is. Said, yeah. He tweeted out, don't be scared of COVID, which is awesome. <laughs> we, but we all knew that was going to happen. Oh, yeah. We all yeah. knew he was going to walk out of that hospital and be like, not a big deal, folks. Yeah. Well, I'm pilled thing, up. I'm better than ever. <laughs> Chris, Chris Christie has it. If that motherfucker beats COVID, can we can we just go back to having that's our lives? Ex- dude, this is, that's what's yeah. going to happen. Like, I actually think this is a psyop. They infected I'm a bunch of fat old guys, and everyone's gonna be like, "Well, these fucking guys are gonna survive." Then Boris COVID's Johnson like- beat it too, and I mean, like any American is healthier than any British person. No, Absolutely, yeah. based on vitamin D levels alone. Right? I mean, right, man, that's this is fucking like, America, even, dude. Even, We're even, not gonna let some fucking limey outlive us, dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> get out of here, crooked teeth, dude. Yeah, get was your, this Black Mirror? Get, yeah. out, get out of get here, dude. Get your fucking, get your fucking pounds. Get your driving get on the, the left Get the Beatles back the together road. and yeah. then talk to us, bitch. Yeah, go Ooh. drink some. Go drink some tea. Oh no, I've got the COVID. Hey, Ooh, dude. What sausage for breakfast? I hate British. Not like British people, but British culture kind of sucks. British food is awful. That's what Robbie. I'm what is that noise? Oh, it's my Facebook Messenger. Don't worry oh, about dude. it, dude. Sometimes people pose. get DMs. Oh, well, why don't we use your equipment next time, Dalton? No, I, yeah, Dalton, I you little fucking rat. Right. Yeah. Shut, right. the shut the fuck up and don't up. ever criticize you Robbie. You appreciate the dinner I put on this food for this family. Get back in the cage, Dalton. I was yeah. just thinking about an episode of Black... It's Black Mirror, and it's about uh, the dangers of Boost Mobile. <laughs> 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 it's blacker mirror. Yeah, blacker mirror. Black ass mirror. Black ass mirror. <laughs> where, chirp, chirp, where you at? <laughs> Dude, I had a Boost mobile phone for way too long, like until a few years ago. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's cheap, man. You got the whole city behind you, you know. Yeah. Why not, dude? If you're in a major metropolitan area, what's holding you back? Sure. I actually used to the own terrifying Boost case store. of Cricket Wireless. Yeah. Oh. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God, yeah. Uh, R.I.P. Rick Moranis. Oh, yeah. Murdered in uh, the streets of Manhattan. Honey, I got knocked out by the kids. Slam dunk, Robbie. Yeah. You <laughs> know what? I don't like when we have a guest, you guys stop laughing at my jokes. I'm not- <laughs> Robbie, I just said it was a slam dunk. I don't like getting bullied because... It, cause it, cause it, Never mind. You're, we're not, you're not getting bullied, Robbie. I mean, you're also splayed out like some sort of fucking. Robbie, <laughs> do, Robbie does Art this. Model, yeah. He like he lays out <laughs> like fucking Burt Reynolds. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you guys. Uh, see, <laughs> bully <laughs> alert! I need an adult. <laughs> you're, 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 th- you're the three Stooges as your fucking therapist over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez, I just hate all. This. Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, you're insane. Yeah. I guess I'd be Larry. You're definitely Curly Dalton. I'm Curly for yeah. sure. I'm Mo, but from The Simpsons. Mo no, Sizzler. you're Shimp. <laughs> yeah, you're Shimp, dude. Who's Shimp? He's, He's like the fourth one that replaced Curly. I don't know. I hate. Th- I hate knowing about the three. Why is it that's like a staple? Like every guy that likes comedy has to know about the Three Stooges. Three Stooges kind of suck. Yeah, Mark's man. brothers were great. It's, no, but it's good when you're a kid. It's like, like I liked the Three Stooges when I was a kid. I, like, I liked Looney Tunes. I was like, this is like a cartoon, but I want to see it done much better. And with, like, 
consequences. I want to see them actually become accordions. Yeah. I think <laughs> you yeah. have to live an entire life as an accordion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like just everybody thinks you're the most obnoxious instrument for the rest of your life. That is funny. Weird Al just learned how to play the silliest instrument. That's kind of a really fun comedy move. My Aunt, Philip- My Aunt Philomena was very good at the accordion. She took it very seriously. It is an annoying ass instrument. Oh, yeah. it's really I don't think I've ever heard. What sort of Ginzo fucking begging on the street during the Depression instrument is that? Like, I know. <laughs> it's just like every... Every accordion song is just so fucking irritating. <laughs> did you know? Did you know? Like Mia is really good at the accordion. Of course she is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you mean something manufactured wacky is done by Mia? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Got her ass, folks. Uh, cool. <laughs> All right, so do y'all want to hear about me shitting my pants? Mm-hmm. More than anything in the fucking world, Dalton. <laughs> Dude. Hold on, let me let me uh, let me sit upright. Let me get alert. All right, I you have my undivided <laughs> attention. Please tell me about your hero's journey. Nah, dude, this rules. I'm so proud. I can't of, wait. I'm so proud of I this. I can't wait. Dude, I did a I did a show, a backyard show on Saturday. Ooh. And after the show, me and the the guy who booked it and two two lady comedians uh, we all went to another show at Tiny Covered, and after that, we we'd been drinking the whole night. We'd actually we had shotgun some beers uh, before we went to Tiny Covered, and mm. we were getting we were getting loose. Uh oh, and um, Lucy C K over yeah, here. Yeah, and I punched a hole in the beer with my thumb, and then Chloe LeBranch bit into it with her teeth. <laughs> she rocks. Uh, but then we all shout went out to, Chloe LeBranch, yeah, friend of the show. May and she rest in peace. We all went to Tiny Covered. And I don't know her at all, actually. I I was taking a piss. And while I was pissing, I, I squeezed out a fart and Yummy. probably put a little too much oomph into it. But I didn't think anything of it. I guess it felt kind of hot. But I was like, <laughs> oh man, yeah, it's just a fart. And then we were outside, and you know, like when you get a fart stuck in your butt cheeks. You know what I'm talking. You ever had that? Absolutely. Yeah, you know what I mean. You, yeah, get, you I get, get like a piece of a fart stuck in your mm-hmm. butt cheeks. You got to clench and squeeze it out. Yeah. Like sometimes it tickles your balls on the way out. I thought that's what was going on, but I couldn't get the fart out. And then after a while, I was like, "Oh, this is just shit in my pants." <laughs> and so we all we all went to another bar together. We were in the lift. Who does it go home with shit in it? I was drunk, dude, and one of the girls was pr- pretty. And I so, so you thought so your end goal was to take your pants off. <laughs> And let her see the Look, shit. Look, man, I'm <laughs> I'm living life by my rules. This is this is this is Dalton's crying game, <laughs> you know. Dude, so, I and That's also I reference. didn't know I didn't know how bad the shit was. I just was like, there's some shit in my pants. Probably not too bad. And, <laughs> and so we get to the other bar. <laughs> And I go to the bathroom to check it out. And I was like, oh, fuck, this is a disaster. <laughs> There's so much shit in my pants. And I did what I could to clean it up. But I was like, in the process, just got shit all over my hand. <laughs> it was like all over my leg. And uh, I sent y'all a picture of my underwear. The yeah, next thanks day. for that, by the way. <laughs> thanks yeah. a lot. That, for was, a, that was a great Dalton, a Rorschach test? Dalton, not <laughs> a Rorschach test. you've been sitting on it all day. Yeah. yeah. Pushed it into one fucking and so, <laughs> and so we. we uh, Dalton's shit was like, I'm not locked up in here with you. And so I, w- I cleaned up as best I could, washed off, got all the shit off my hand, and we, we went back to the table. And we kept drinking, last call happens, and then the, the girl that I liked, she gets up to go, and she's like, I, I got a guy I'm seeing, I'm going to go meet up with him. And as she's leaving, I, like, reach out to, for her to hold my hand. Right. And she, like, actually holds my hand. Your shit hand. The shit hand. Moments before, that hand was covered in shit. Oh, uh, there's no way it didn't smell. I don't know, dude. And she was like, and I was like, wait, what I'm sure doing? drunk Dalton took all the necessary per- oh, sanitary sure, yeah. precautions. <laughs> I like to think it's, you know, you know, when you go to a bar and you know those, uh, those, uh, soap dispensers where you have to like really push the metal thing down. Yeah, yeah. And just like a tiny amount of that neon pink <laughs> yeah. soap yeah. Cam- comes out. I like to think that's what he used. Yeah, to I like. Yeah. I like to think that Dalton had like a half shit hand. I was like, that's good enough, man. We're, yeah. par- we're partying. No, <laughs> so <laughs> it on the bathroom wall. <laughs> Red rum, like The Shining. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's corn. It's corn whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> 
and so we're back. So we're holding hands, and I I stand up and I pull her in, and like we're I was like holding her, and I go, Ooh. I was like, are you sh- like you? Don't now wanna-? I'm hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I was like, why don't you hang out a little bit longer? And she goes, no, I gotta go see a man. I'm like, all right, go have fun. And so she splits, and then I'm there with my other friend. We step outside, and I ask my friend, I was like, you have you have her number, right? And he's like, yeah. And I go call her, and so he calls her, and I'm like, hand me the phone. And I was like, hey, it's it's me, Dalton. Oh, my God. Oh, and my she, God. She's like, yeah, what's up? And I go. You fucking horror movie villain. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> I, shit my, I shit my pants for you. <laughs> I mean, I, w- I was drunk. I would never do the this. The hills have creepy guys. <laughs> But I, I told her I was like, hey, I know you're gonna, I know you're gonna see a man tonight. But how about you? And oh, I, how about dude. you? How about you and I go oh out sometime? Oh my god! And she goes, No, he's already put in the time. I, I'm seeing him, and I was like, Well, hey, look, have fun with that dude tonight. But hit me up if you ever want to get with a real stud. No, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I bet, I bet this beta. <laughs> Can't even fucking shit his pants. Uh, and then I handed I handed the phone back to my friend, and I was like, "My lives here. I gotta go clean the shit out of my britches." Dalton's like, "If Courage the Cowardly Dog was also Johnny Bravo, yeah. dude." I'm. Damn, I'm you, so how was your? What did your lift score plummet after that? I cannot imagine. If you like, if you get with a real stud, let's dude. Not, let's. Not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm proud of um, that. Where did, <laughs> where did you get that line? I was, I don't know, man. I was, I was playing jazz that night. I was improvising. <laughs> Yikes. It's about the rapes you don't hear. <laughs> hey, not tonight. <laughs> I like that she didn't say that she liked the guy, just that he had put in the time. Yeah. I, I respect know. that, though. I respect that, because women should value a man's time. I don't, I don't know, man. I'm pretty proud of it. I feel you're free. proud of that story, dude. I feel free because it's like beyond humiliating. So it's like nothing can phase me now. <laughs> That's what you said after the prostitute. Yeah, dude. It's, if anything, <laughs> you just on like a downward spiral. Yeah, just, things I are just, getting <laughs> worse and worse, and like you're just like doesn't matter. Can't get any. It's like it's gonna get even worse. You shit your pants and you talk about it on a dude. You're almost fucking thirty, dude. And you you sent a picture of your shit covered underwear. <laughs> to your friends, unprompted. To be fair, that's the best part of the story. <laughs> that is funny. That, that brings it funny. all back. <laughs> but then, like, I'm gonna go now. I have now. I have the cur- The courage is is now to to talk to this woman. I'm, but I'm sure she won't m- message you, dude. She gave you her number, right? <laughs> no. We, but oh yikes. We okay. know, we, f- we follow each other on IG. Okay. Well, I'm I'm, I'm sure that's fine. And does she still follow you back? Yeah, dude. She's oh, been wow. watching. She's been watching my stories. Oh my gosh! Yeah, Don't, come on. Okay, all right. You should. You should. You should, you should uh, have a story of you, you like should buying send new her hands this underwear. Clip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If it's like, if you want to know a picture of the shitty underwear now, <laughs> you know how it has the date that it was taken under <laughs> it. Yeah. yeah. She puts it together. Yeah. yeah. Well, thankfully, he had uh, the day's newspaper with him when he pulled down. Yeah. His <laughs> hey, when we were talking, I had something on my mind that. I just couldn't say in the moment, but I can tell you now. What's that? My pants were full of <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, the one thing my boyfriend can't offer me. Yeah. <laughs> and the ability to pick be, out new underwear for she him. She held your hand, right? Yeah. But then she runs into him and she like touches his face to kiss him hello. He gets and he's just like, what? Were you just fingering a man's ass? <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, Dalton, that, Dalton, that's not how eating ass works, yeah. by the way. <laughs> Through the transitive uh, property, that guy's a homo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dalton's like, I have all the ingredients, but I can't put them together. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, dude. That, <laughs> I, I'm still proud. I, Why are you proud? Because it's just He's like, a proud boy. Proud oh, boy. my God. Speaking of Yikes. Which, so, hey, Dalton, seriously, though, stand down and stand, stand by. Stand down and stand by. <laughs> yeah. That's what actually he said when he called yeah. her. Hey, I just want to tell you, stand down and stand by. I don't know, dude. It's <laughs> just if, if, you ever die, if, you don't, if you're bored of this guy and you want to get with a real stud, I will be standing down and standing by. Uh, we'd also like to officially say, message received loud and clear, Mr. President. Yikes. <laughs> I don't know. Something about shitting my pants gave me a, a swell of confidence. Yeah, not like a like a little baby who yeah. dude, just like knows the babysitter like or how, mother like has how to Samson, change their diaper. Like how Samson from the Bible got his power from his hair. Yeah. I get my power from shitting my britches. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes, dude. Oh, hey, man. if you guys want to donate to the pod, <laughs> it's going to be to get Dalton some adult depends, <laughs> dude. A, a Superman thing. And, it also and you go into a phone booth and shit your pants. <laughs> 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 that's how you, that's oh, your like su- every phone booth in the city. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, how you, that's like your superhero. You, don't, you, you like see Godzilla attack and you're like... <gasps> 
I'm gonna go save the city. I'm needed. <laughs> I'm needed. Also, he's gonna fumble shit your pants and walk right. <laughs> <laughs> That's your uniform. <laughs> it's just shit. Yeah, pants. you I, got a big fucking interview. With I look your the boss. same. I'm just doing a duck walk. <laughs> <laughs> and you just go home. <laughs> Yeah, job well done. I saved the city. <laughs> I feel more confident now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was also funny. Have you ever? Wow, shit? what a great podcast! Have you ever shit after taking Pepto Bismol? No, no. I so the bismuth in Pepto Bismol turns your shit like pitch black, and oh, so yeah. I had taken Pepto that day, and so it was just like. It, it just looked like coal. <laughs> it, met, it was wet coal in my bridges. On this episode of Black Mirror. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like the Venom symbiote was coming out of your ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> the Venom thing, but it's made out of shit. Yeah. Dalton, <laughs> yeah. tell her that you're a stud. Yeah. <laughs> Don't we have to get pussy tonight? <laughs> well, what if she sees What if she sees you? <laughs> I did tell my buddy that. I was like, I'm, bum- I'm bummed she left, but if she had actually taken me home with her and I pulled my pants off, there'd be Now sh- you know how trans women feel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. take off your underwear and throw it away. Yeah, she would have beat me up if she had seen that shit in my pants. She'd be like, you tricked me. No, you just tell her you have to go to the bathroom. Just think of a great line, like, get a load of this. <laughs> be like, man, I've, you, no one's ever made me come out of my ass before. <laughs> <laughs> You're good, dude. You're fine. You're fine. No, She's going to hit you up, dude. I'm sure she wants What's to What's funny fuck is you. no one had to know about any of this. Like, you could have kept this to your grave, yeah. but you have now publicly. It's too funny. It is really it's funny. It's way too funny it's, to keep it to really myself. It's really funny. There but for the grace of God, go I. Yeah. I, my, the pur- my purpose in life is to make everyone else feel better about their lives. I like that. Yeah. Wow. Because I'm You do I'm make fine. me feel better about my life, and I'm pathetic. I'm fine, dude. Like, I'm, I'm living my life my way. You were awesome last night. Drunk yeah. Dalton is a lot of fun. Mm. Yeah, dude. I hate nummy, to say nummy. it. Nummy, nummy. Yeah. I kind of a reverse. I can't really follow that story. But uh, last night at the party, oh, I I did well, right? Yeah. And I talked to this girl afterwards. And oh, I, I like impressed her, and she asked me for my number. Oh, d- and Robert. I put and I put. She shit her pants. Yeah, she <laughs> shit. It was Dalton in a wig. <laughs> 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 you want to? Hey, uh, anyway. <laughs> you just described the story from like your point of view, but it's just you and Dalton. Hooking up. Uh, (laughs) I had to go hang out with my friend anyway, because even putting in the time, but then like this guy fucking hits me up. That was crazy. He put in the time. (laughs) Memento, but I have tattoos that just say Dalton's actually a guy and like he shit his pants and stuff. Um, But um, I put my number in her phone. I was like, hell yeah, smooth. And I realized I didn't save it or call or text myself in the phone. So I just have no way of like contacting her or anything like that. She's a friend that you know. You no, know. I didn't know her friend. And then I was like asking her around. And it was like nobody really knew they were. Oh, no. And neither of them have social media. Oh, no. So I'm just fucked. But I told like everybody at the party about it. And I'm like, I kind of maybe cucked myself because maybe it'll get somehow back to her that I was like asking everybody about it. And I do not. And that that's not a cool move. And now you're the guys about a very, it, yeah. it's a very now she knows the real you. Yeah. It's the most you thing. Just that desperately spiked. Checked. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll get off my story, but I do want to say Dalton really – Dalton did a great job of, of hyping me up last night. Dalton was a great friend. We had a, we were a good tag Dude, team last I was night. Dude, su- I support my brothers. Damn. Yeah. All right? I guess I could learn I know, a thing about friendship from you Sometimes you think I'm bullying you, you, but I want the best for all, all the boys Shoot. in my life. Dalton was a real nice friend. He was hyping me up. And what did you say about, like, uh, you know, she's not going to be the only girl? Oh, yeah. I was like, Robbie, there's got to be, what, 100, 200 <laughs> women in this city? <laughs> it really made me <laughs> laugh. <laughs> Robbie. <laughs> There's hundreds of women in this yeah. city. <laughs> Damn, Dalton sounds like a supporting character in like the movie of your life. Dude, right? I dude sh- I'm write a rom com. I'm Philip Seymour Hoffman. I'm the fucking. I'm I'm, the, I'm the main character. Dalton's the best friend, and Joe's the wild card. Who I mean, I'm I'm literally Philip Seymour Hoffman in Along Came Polly because I did shart the um, other night. Ugh, I shit my pants. That's that's a good P- um, PSH. Fuck, I shit my pants. You guys want to go shit her pants? I love her. I love her and I shit my pants for her. But if she wants to get with a real stud. I guess I guess shitting your pants is a lot more common. It's com- it's funny. I used to and shit my pants in like elementary school, but I think that after that I stopped. Yeah. I remember one time I was uh, at my babysitter's house when I was a kid. And I shit my pants, and it was like a full log. <laughs> it was like that a happened. Captain's there. log. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and 
Uh, she told my mom she couldn't be my babysitter anymore because me shitting my pants was a bad influence. You got friend zoned by a babysitter? Yeah, because she said we're trying to pot. <laughs> she said we're trying to potty train our youngest, and if they see him shitting his pants, it's like a bad influence. <laughs> that that rules. <laughs> yeah. You. I didn't, I didn't think I was signing up to clean up eight-year-old shit. Yeah. yeah. Damn. You pay me four twenty-five an hour. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's odd. That's so funny. That's heavy, man. Yeah. I've shit my pants a lot. Really? Recently? Or no, not as an adult. Mm. Yeah. Just that. Uh, just the other night, and it wasn't like an involuntary shit. It's just like it was a fart that I trusted. Lost control of. Oh yeah, last night too. Another great bit we were doing. Is just running around chanting, you have to respect the office. Yeah, respect the office. <laughs> <laughs> Which is awesome. It's so weird that my, by the way, we are not the Proud Boys. I just want to make that clear. We are oh, the yeah. Loud Boys. Oh, I'm every- in the wrong place, I think. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> huh, proud Boys are down that away, man. Yeah. That'd it, be- <laughs> it's so surreal. We disavow the Proud Boys. I'm just going to say that right now. Well, Robin well, does. Come on. Okay. I, am, I am actually a card-carrying member of the Proud Boys, but only in like, the original iteration you, that ha- was you do have the same mustache as gavin i know well that's why i had to grow they made me grow it oh. G- gavin's fascinating because he really did start all the hipster shit like i was reading a new york times profile of him from like 2003 and he's the one who like started like the ironic blue collar shit he was like yeah it's like cool to drink pbr and like get tattoos and stuff you know like that is cool that fucking ironic uh, blue collar shit that's all that was all gavin and he like he started the fashion shit and all that I mean, he's fucking found advice yeah. yeah. How crazy is that, right? Anyway, the Proud if Boys. If you think the other races are grinding us down, you might be a redneck. Blue collar. Oh, okay, okay. All right. All right. Folks. Uh, <laughs> Damn, that was a real Robbie Goodwin moment for yeah, you. Yeah, it really was, dude. That, <laughs> bom- that bombed pretty hard. You know what, though? I'm I, I, I'm just saying it. I've been underrated this episode, all right? You guys are just staring at me this whole time. No, dude. We're, we're here, dude. I love you. Thank you, Dalton. I believe you. Do you want a nicotine pouch? Yeah, put a nicotine pouch in your mouth, Robbie. I want to see what happens. Come on, pretty boy. Anyway, it's surreal that my parents know what the um, fucking Proud Boys are now. My dad called me and was like, kind of sounds like the Loud Boys, huh? (laughs) (laughs) Dude, my mom called me and she was like, did you see that Donald Trump told you to, to, to stand down? And I was like, Mom, that, that's for Proud Boys, and I'm an incel. There's, like, a huge, really? huge difference. Huge no, overlap. not really. There's a huge, huge overlap. There's a huge overlap. That's the like, thing, yeah. Proud Boys are, like, diverse yeah. incels. I'm a, I'm a gentle incel. They just hate incel. women, mostly. No. Yeah. I, I, I just uh, I draw my own hentai. There that's is, like, a Mexican. Me I'm not, like, going to kill anybody, you know? There's, like, a Mexican branch of the of the Proud Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Lo- Los Proud Los, Muchachos. Los, Los, they're called Los Lonely Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Los Lonely Boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. Damn. I take it back. Yeah, we're back. We're Damn, back. dude. Uh, so, Chris, tell us about your new podcast. Uh, it's mostly me yelling. I actually do talk about a lot about how the Proud Boys are kind of pussies. Uh-oh. Oh, no, nice. Oh, way t- there's way tougher Nazis. Ooh, out starting there. the Gas Digital Compound Media feud. Oh, oh. yeah. Is it on gas? No. I, uh, well, the video is going to be behind the paywall on gas, but it's just it's just available wherever you get podcasts. Okay. Cool. For now. Uh, yeah, at least for the first couple of months. Cool. Uh, yeah, it's called Notes of a Goon, if anybody wants to get it. I, we've been doing that. We talk about the firefighter thing. I'm trying to get a GoFundMe going to put money in the commissary for all the wild firefighter prisoners and that and i've been talking about like yeah like i said way better like i just i'm kind of sick of all these joke nazis like the proud boys the boogaloo boys yeah yeah uh, and i the atlantic came out with an article about uh bronies being nazis oh man and i was just like you know nazis are scary right like they're terrifying yeah. people right like so we've been talking about that yeah shit. the nerd nazi overlap is very bizarre because yeah, like the nazis in the 40s were like strong dude they yeah. used to intentionally fence without headgear so like you know how like there's like all the nazis with like eye scars Mm -hmm. that became like a trend so they would fence without headgear so they can intentionally get them wow so cool you guys ever met a reform nazi yeah it's called nasa (laughs) damn dude that was that deserved got him (laughs) i got their ass damn dude dude. noam chomps joe chomsky over here no i used to you know that movie hidden figures that was all about nazis disguised as black women Hiding in plain sight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I used to, I used to work with a guy when I when I worked at Home Depot, and he had like all these like swastika and SS Iron Cross tattoos. What? But yeah, he was, used to be a biker, 
And <laughs> I remember like asking him about him one day. I'm like, dude, what's up with the fucking swastikas on your arm? And he's like, oh, this is from a past life when I used to break guys' legs for meth money. Dude, I knew a, a guy who was addicted to PCP who was working at this call center in Manhattan Beach, Brooklyn, which is a very Jewish area. And they had him cutting the weeds down in front of the call center with a machete. And this kid pops his shirt off, and he's got a swastika tattoo. And we're like, Rocco, why the fuck do you have a swastika tattoo? He's like, I just thought it looked cool, like in that movie American <laughs> History X. Like, oh, we're my God. We're saying that they're Nazis, right? Whoa. He's like, yeah. he's like what, really? This is a 25 I Googled it, man. and it said it was a symbol of peace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he How just not know what a swastika cool? is. Yeah, yeah, he literally was just like, it thought Wait, it was he cool. watched like American evil. History X and Dude, didn't yeah, recognize yeah, it? Yeah, but on PCP. Oh, uh, that mean, you know what? Uh, <laughs> like he did everything on PCP. I, I have heard him. that kids now don't know about the Holocaust. That's no fucking way. No, dude. Everyone is about. It. You know what people don't know about is the Asian Holocaust. Joe, you got to answer for this. <laughs> okay, what do you guys want to know about the uh, Japanese internment camps in America during the 1950s? Joe, don't you're... don't what about ism? Yeah. Don't what about ism? Well, the Japanese killed their own people. Oh, oh, the Japanese. Oh, uh, yeah. that's it. What about the uh, what about the uh, comfort man. wives when uh, oh, the Japanese yeah. would uh, take Chinese women as essentially sex slaves? Do you know that they still protest? Yeah, like every week they go to the same place and protest because the Japanese government won't acknowledge. Acknowledge? Yeah, yeah, Shinzo Abe's like, oh no, it did not happen. He resigned. <laughs> What's that? He resigned. Oh yeah. He said, "I need to take a nap." Oh. Uh, Mm, I'm a donor. Thank you. <laughs> Chinese, oh, Japanese. Yeah. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> Dirty knees. Look at these. Look at these. It is funny <laughs> how much more I like Japan than China, though. Considering like it's a much between yeah. raping that Nan King and the Asian Holocaust, Nan King Cole, and World War II, they've done a lot <laughs> of damage for a tiny island, you know. Yeah. But they're so cool. And they gave us hentai and sushi. Oh, they dude, built an I, actual giant Gundam like a month ago. Dude, they're that wrong. They, they moves. They are all, like it's like also not just a statue. Sushi is so good. And sushi I was watching. Dude, uh, I went to a five-story sex shop in Tokyo. Like they're, they're, they're awesome over there. They yeah. really wreck a sex. You know what? I'll get. I'll <laughs> let. I'll let raping that Nan King completely slide. I love the Japanese man. I was watching Lost in Translation last night. And it's a good Ra- movie. I'm sorry. You mean Lost in Translation? Thong. Lost in Thong. Translation. Come on, okay. man. Did you know, you know what? Uh, Bill. Uh, Bill. Uh, what, 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 Bill Murray uh, whispered to uh, Scarlett Scarlet Johansson. Johansson. I know. He said the XFL is back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he actually said. <laughs> <laughs> he said, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> it was a John Wick prequel the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I just watched John Wick 3. What a great, what oh, a great. Awesome. Yeah. I, would oh, s- I, think, it, I think it's the weakest of the trilogy. Shut up. No, no. Shut up. Yep. The no, two's the best one. I, I did like the I did like the fight on the path in uh, John Wick two. That was so much because oh, like I've seen John like, Wick two. Yeah, yeah, that was. Pretty and good. I did because like I've been on I've been on the path before when fights have broken out, and I was like, oh, it's like the John Wick scene <laughs> when he and Common are just <laughs> fighting on the path. Someone kills your dog. This is just like John Wick, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, <laughs> like John. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like John Wick. Oh, My yeah. pets die. I'm terribly sad, but uh, this is pretty cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess it's kind of worth it to be like John Wick. Yeah. Robbie, how could you say part three is the weakest when it's got that hottie Halle Berry? In she is hot in it. Ageless no, yeah, the beauty. The dog, that's dope. the best the do- part. Oh, the that dog part? No, the fact that you get to see where they mint the coins and it's Braun from Game of Thrones. I'm not saying it's bad. Out. I just think it's the weakest one. No, that's the one I'm going to rewatch. Not, there's not a weakest one. There, no, I think the yes. second one is the weakest one. I, but like they're still all like. I disagree. It's like the yeah, Godfather they're trilogy. They're all good. They're all good. The third one's just my least favorite. Nah, dude, I love John Wick 3. And they're making a Continental TV show. Mr. Wick, welcome to the Continental. Yeah. That's kind of weak. I would, I would give them Lance a coin right? and like I'd, I'd have a hooker with me. <laughs> and like they just <laughs> give me like a look. And I just like get a hotel room just I mean, to bring all, hookers back. They're all hired killers. I think they're fine with you fucking a hooker. I mean, nah, not the hooker I would bring. Well, in, no, you dude. can't do <laughs> bring like a real trash bag to <laughs> the like a real <laughs> And like runs into <laughs> fishnets and just fucking bad wig. It's like that Mr. would be funny if they drew the line of banging a hooker. Like yeah. they're just like psh, they're like Mr. Oh, Mr. Wick. Mr. Wick you, we have rules at the continent. Come on, they man. put a hit on me for bringing a dirty <laughs> hooker yeah, into yeah, the continent. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> reward un- eighteen. No one wants to get near me though because of all the diseases. Throwing out a body. It's unsanitary. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you let John Wick bring his fucking dog in here, dude. That's true. 
Yeah, why can't I bring my bitch? Yeah. Hey. Oh. 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 Hey, if you want to get with a real stud. Hey. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that line. Oh yeah. All, also, all Dalton got a mullet for the list. Oh, I do have a mullet now. Yeah. Dalton's been spiraling, dude. I'm not spiraling, dude. I'm dude. living my living life my way. That's how that's how women spiral. They get haircuts and they take like humiliating experiences and try to play it off. Yeah, it's and powerful. it's like this is actually empowering and powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit, I am acting like a woman. Yeah, dude. Sorry, God bro. damn it. Diagnosis. I in. do like the mullet. Dalton's also wearing blue lipstick right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and talking a lot about fall. <laughs> I love the fall. We, I do love fall. That's fall. something women are right about. Fall mm. Fall is awesome. We got to get Uggs. Pumpkin spice lattes. Yeah. Yep. Um, Turkey. So how about that debate, guys? <laughs> how about it? <laughs> I would like to talk about it. Well, I mean, it was funny watching SNL try to do a sketch about it when it's like nothing you're gonna do is, is funnier than be funnier Trump. than the because like yeah, dude, it's gonna be funnier than no not your hero son your cokehead son yeah the best sentence <laughs> yeah no not your hero son you I don't know anything about Bo but Hunter <laughs> yeah. that was hilarious. it's like why do you only what research what? I don't know anything about Bo but Hunter it was so funny because at the time I was like ah oh, fuck people are like gonna like this because like Trump is like showing dominance or whatever. Yeah. And he's like alphaing him. I I thought he lost that debate. Oh, he lost by honestly. Like I went into the debate being pro Joe Biden, and I left being completely undecided at this point. (laughs) (laughs) And I don't know how. I don't know because it's like okay, Trump's a piece of shit, but at the same way, he's like handling himself like the way I would imagine like a leader. Also, like I feel like I have like the no, mentality. Yeah, he does, dude. I also have like the mentality of like you know a bully sidekick. Or like I'll just go to like I'll just I'll like go it. to like the most. You definitely look like bulk from the Power Rangers. Yeah, no skull, <laughs> dude. Uh, in this case, Trump would be bulk. You know what's so funny <laughs> is I read all the polls, but the only people I know they're like Trump crushed that weirdly are comedians. Comedians thought that that was a great performance because it just was like, great. Because you just interjected audience, and insulted and was like rude. If the audience, if they weren't pretending there was no audience there, like if there was like he would have. It would have he would have felt, crushed. It would have seemed like he was completely dominant because he would have popped them yeah. and shut up every time. What yeah. the because right. he, he kept shooting off lines and kept talking, whereas he would have shot off lines, popped the audience, and calmed down, and they wouldn't have even reprimanded him for interrupting. Right, true. They couldn't. Yeah, they wouldn't be able. Well, to Well, that was the what was surreal was seeing the moderator go, "Mr. President, please." Yeah, <laughs> like, dude, Chris that Wallace was, was getting crazy. so frustrated. Dude. He was like, "What do you want to switch places?" And Trump kind of considered it for a second. He's like, "Well, yeah, I think I dude, how great would that have been if Trump was like, all right, let's do." It and they yeah. like switch oh, places. Yeah. He's like, So, why are both of you so gay? Yeah. <laughs> Wipe the podium down. We're switching. I'll give you two minutes. Just kidding. I'm out of here. And he drops the mic and leaves. It's also yeah, apparently they're going to give like mic cutting privileges to the moderator in the next debate. Well, Trump said if they do that, he's not going to do the debate. No, yeah, Good I for him. Either. Trump's, but, dude, but Trump's already got it was it just in the like, bag. It was, but it was just like yeah, so. Trump won, dude. Here's a th- no, if you read all, if you re- it, he here's why I believe the polls this time is because. The majority of pollers fucking sucker? asked, uh, oh, just for this debate, because the majority of polls, like, it was like, what did you think of the, per- how did you feel about the debate? And, like, 70% said annoying. <laughs> and that's, like, that's, that's awesome. Accurate, that's, yeah. that's, like, okay, that's not something some pundit would make up. That's, I like, like yeah. those odds. <laughs> Dude, I, I can't think of one thing they actually said. No, like I have no idea. It was all just that. I had to watch the clips thing. to like actually feel any substance. While I was watching it, it just made me feel really, really like, anxious. It was so annoying. And it was annoying. Yeah, it was like, I was yeah, like, uncut gems. yeah it was like, was like, like I know. I was like, is he gonna fucking kill Biden? I thought that one of them was gonna walk out too, because I was like. But then when you watch it back, it's like, okay, Biden is actually trying to give. Some, he can't complete every thought, but he's like actually trying to do some substantive answers. And like, uh, uh, and Trump would just like interject with just and like it wouldn't even matter. It wasn't even like tr- like Trump. Someone like engaged Trump, and he was defending himself. Like he was attacked. Biden was like, I think that the American people should choose in November. And Trump just goes, Are you gonna pack the court? And he's like, In November, people should choose. Are you gonna pack the court? Like just like a non sequitur question, yelling he, it at he, him. No, but it is kind of a true thing. Biden keeps getting asked that, and he won't answer it. Yeah, just like well, we just want to. That's know. true, and that is a good thing to break what up. Is, I don't fucking, know what that means. But what fucking mean wait your turn. Court? Add more judges so that the Supreme Court would be more balanced, which is like a dirty. It would be a dirty move and would backfire for Democrats. But I think this, anyway. I'm not going to get into the Supreme Court. I think the Supreme Court is like wait. Is, weirdly that, is that hold on, Robbie? Is that the court with uh, sour cream and lettuce? <laughs> Yeah, it's five layers Supreme yeah. Court. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Five layers of judges. 
in between his avocado and fucking sour cream <laughs> yeah. cheese meat. Yeah. My favorite was when Biden went. Like, because I think Biden was no, coached. just five black ladies singing. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> the yeah. Supreme Court. Mm-hmm. We rule in favor of being sassy. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, I'm just going to get out of this thought. Uh, it's just a bunch of douchebags with those hats with the straps on the back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's high it's beast. hype beast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, a bunch of, uh, all the justices like wait in line <laughs> outside the fucking yeah. courthouse. <laughs> uh, damn! Did you hear the new verdict's gonna drop? Su- the Travis Scott drop. <laughs> the <laughs> Travis Scott Supreme Court drop. <laughs> uh, anyway, I just think Trump. He just was like, it was surreal to see him do that in front of like printed out letters of the Constitution and shit. It's mm-hmm. just like it's so fucking weird, man. It just made me think America is like. Because the uh, the episode before on the Loud Boys, Dalton and I, we kind of had back and forth. I was like, I don't think America's over. And after the debate, I was like, yeah, Amer- okay. Oh, dude, America's Dal- over. Dalton was right. We're in the, dis- the, we're in the dystopia is- now. Yeah, definitely. Did you watch the video of the, the AI parent? Parkland kid? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but like the British Empire ended and they seemed to be fine. And people talk about the Roman Empire ending. That took hundreds of years. It wasn't just a sudden. Yeah, well, America's a s- been around for hundreds of years. Okay, but we can't have a fall the yeah. whole time we've been around. Yeah, we've, we've only been an empire like, for like 50 years. We would do years. it like a roller coaster. That would be hilarious. <laughs> yeah, we just started the time. Yeah. <laughs> And then we go up again right after World War II. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Will you ride the Constitution? I, th- I, think, I do think this is like um, when you burn the crops to make the soil better, mm. you know? This is what this is, dude. Dalton, you're quite the little revolutionary. I know, dude. dude. This is shit's really bad now, and then it's always dude, darkest before dawn. Just as a New Yorker, even if I loved Trump, like if I loved him, if my my vote, man, I'm not gonna vote because it's fucking stupid. I'm it's gonna go wait in line. Yeah. yeah, it's fucking lame. Uh, vote but by mail. It's very safe, and there's no problems with it. Oh, well, I got yeah, Catherine's vote by mail ballot. Electro, yeah, I'll fill out. Catherine. No, it doesn't matter. In blue states, <laughs> who cares? Let her, let her get you. By the way, I'm gonna. Kanye is on the ballot in California as a vice presidential candidate. Oh, nice. well, you should vote for him there then. Yeah, yeah definitely. No, I'm, gonna, well, well, I'm riding with Biden, baby. No, but it's like I, I, what I'm saying is like it doesn't. If matter. I like loved Trump and I thought my vote mattered because I lived in a swing state, I would vote for Biden just to shut up the people who hate Trump because I have to live around so many people. I who, know who like. That's how I feel. It's like the culture's gotten so I'm fucked. Not, I'm not a fan, but I just can't listen to people talk about him anymore. I know, yeah. dude. I mean, what, the also way what liberals happened? have the, the the most insufferable part of living in the Trump America is honestly how liberals have made the culture so much more hysterical because also, of yeah, Donald just, Trump. It's just it, a lot of it is just not like uninformed. Like the amount of people, like the amount of times, like I've just like by default had to be like, yeah, you know, like it's like in the beginning it was just like, yeah, like it's pretty commonplace every time a new administration comes in for a bunch of people to leave their jobs. And people are like, no, it's not like, how do you have no memory? Like, or like, like when Linda McMahon got appointed to that thing, it was like, yeah. she donated to the campaign. It was like, yeah. And yeah. like Obama appointed a bunch of people who donated to his campaign. It, so did Clinton and fucking Bush. And like, that's just how they do it. That is the worst is just like uh, such a problem, especially with like New York liberals is just people with no fucking context for history weighing in on like how things should be it's like you're all narcissists who think that we're in the most dramatic time in human history like right now like even with coronavirus it's still not as bad as world war ii and our grandparents were alive to see i mean i i've just dealt with all this before because like growing up in the church in the south like when obama got elected they would have like prayers every sermon to be like god save us from obama (laughs) Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like scared well, for the yeah, future. Yeah, that would that would make me vote Republican just to get those people to shut up. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. I, I will say though, I think Trump is objectively worse than like I don't know. The people oh, freaked out. Hot, hot take. <laughs> I know, but I'm just saying. Like people are like, well, what about Obama? All the fucking time, and it's like. I mean, I think both I sides. Obama was a better statesman. Both. The, I think. Hey, look. Else. I think the liberals are sides. way too hysterical about it. Like they're like everything he's ever done is unprecedented, and we're all gonna die. And then the Republicans are just like, well, it's just as bad as you know this guy who wasn't nearly as bad. Like mm. the, everyone's just so fucked. It's like no one has any like uh, no one's measured. You know, there's no moderate fucking. What happened anymore. to just not caring about politics? Hell yeah. Let's, let's go yeah. back. The minute to Trump that. got yeah. elected, suddenly everyone. He brought football back so that we would stop caring yeah, about politics. Yeah, he brought football back. I brought football. He said that during the debate. How great was that? Yeah. I brought football back. College also, football. I was surprised that Biden knew what the Proud Boys were. I was actually proud of him for that poll. He's like, How about the Proud Boys? I was like, Whoa, <laughs> good job, Joe. Yeah. That's, a, that's a deep cut. Well, you know that he brought up the college football thing because Joe Biden put out a hit ad on Trump 
saying that football like it, it's the most patronizing ad you guys should look it up it, we i talked about it on high society the other like a couple weeks ago fucking he literally like puts out this ad that was just like i just want it's just a bunch of rednecks going you know he said this would be over as soon as it got warm and i just want football back and it went on for two minutes Ugh. and that's why trump brought that up is because of that ad. i brought back football yeah. well that's that's the kind of ad that he should be taking out that could play to like the Obama to Trump voters. Yeah, but it came off so patronizing. Like, I feel like of think, course. Like, think about it this way: like, if you just like football, you now dislike Joe. Right. Biden. It's like, like how how little uh, do you think of people who you're trying to get yeah. to vote for you? Okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Look, they both do kind of suck. I just think Trump sucks much fucking worse. I don't know. I mean, it's just like a. No, but that would be like if Biden like called out like he lost at WrestleMania. <laughs> Do you really want to support okay. a president <laughs> who lost that at WrestleMania? That would rule. That would be, that would yeah. rule. That'd be awesome. He couldn't even he couldn't even beat Vince McMahon. Battle of the billionaires. Shaved his head. Damn his thing. <laughs> yeah, if, if he no sold a stunner. I yeah, can't yeah. believe any this of this man, you see this guy trying to fake a move? I didn't believe it for a second. <laughs> I, I can't believe none of the people that have been running against Trump had like none of them have taken a page out of his playbook and like done the wrestling shit that he's doing because that's well they can't w- compare it because fucking in the Republican debate they try like Mar- but they all look pathetic trying to because Trump is amazing at it Tr- he's so I mean, good that's at why he it. won Marco Rubio would try to be like um his penis seems kind of small to me remember that during the Republican debate and Trump was like there's no problem there that I can tell you and it was just <laughs> like dude you can't come for the king on that dude was that was that a debate I, one of the funniest lines ever would somebody uh, no, it might have just been a reporter like early on was just like yeah Mexico's president said he wouldn't pay for the wall he just goes Wall just got ten feet higher. Yeah, uh, <laughs> just like how the fuck right. are you that yeah. quick? I mean, ad-libs? Trump's greatest. Mo- yeah, it, dude, he's so quick. That's why comics love him. He's the king of the quip. Dude, that, that yeah. that's what I was saying on the last. When episode. she was like, "You call women dogs, uh, uh, yeah, no, whores, Rosie evil." O'Donnell. Only Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> I was like, dude, this guy's getting the nomination, man. <laughs> I mean, that's why I saw in the last episode when he gets out of office instead of going on like a bullshit speaking tour, just going a stand up tour, dude. Yeah. And with the poster that has the uh, parental advisor explicit yeah, yeah. content sticker over his mouth. Yeah. yeah. Donald Trump and Big J? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, Sam Hyde, too. Yeah, yeah Sam, <laughs> Donald Trump, Sam Hyde, and Big J. And Shane Gillis. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Shane's closing. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, dude. Anyway, fuck. Uh, anyway, then. Trump uh, rules. Trump's awesome. And we should pray for the president. Look, all these people that... He's back, dude. Another problem with, like, liberals who, like, go so hard against him, too. It's like, have you guys not read the King James Bible? Judge not, lest ye be judged. Exactly. Amen, bro. I had a theory. All the people that are, like, wishing him well, all those, like, liberal news that have hated him, I swear to God, I think that they're just literally just, like, they know that if they shit on him now, if he does die, they don't get to do Walter Cronkite JFK. They just uh, want that so bad. They want that soundbite in their fucking reel forever. Right. And that's why they all wished him well on Twitter. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, oh, it's super. These are all people who a month ago were like, look, Biden's going to die in office. And then we get Kamala Harris. Right. They all, were they all love. All, they want that so bad. It'll, it'll be. Ooh, it. Why can't we go? Why can't we subvert the will of the voters and get Kamala Harris as our president? Because we like writing about her. God damn it, dude. I hate the media so goddamn much. It'll dude. be interesting if he passes or if he like gets voted out of office it'll be interesting to see what happens to all these people who over the last four years have just made their personality hating trump like that chick sarah cooper who got that netflix special yeah what is she gonna do yeah it's like you owe everything to this guy dude the new york times like they were on their like last legs and then trump got elected and suddenly it's colbert too colbert Are was you mean last. The failing new york colbert times? failing new york times yeah that's that's the irony all these enemies of trump all got huge paychecks the minute he got yeah. elected uh, but yeah, Colbert was fourth in the ratings, and now he's number one just because every night he's the fucking resistance guy. Um, you know, Trump is our Goldstein from 1984. I've talked about this. I've talked uh, about Goldstein. Oh, sorry. I, I remember my thought. Uh, uh, the WWE thing, you know what's funny was there was a few – I think Biden was coached not to get in the mud with him because when Trump would go like, blah, 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 he'd like be like, let me talk to the people or whatever, which was kind of forced, but – a little effective, but the f- couple times he did, it was so hilariously old timey because he's like, "Keep yapping, man!" <laughs> like it's like yapping. That's so funny. I don't know. Politics is gay. I don't know, man. SNL is pretty good this week. It, yeah, <laughs> it's better than ever. Dude. They have twenty cast members, and not a single one of them has a breakout character. Yeah, it's a bad. What's show, the man. last big SNL Someone's character? A little fucking sore. You got you got great characters. The Grinch that was good. I do. SNL does. It. They should get me in there. 
Yeah, you should probably you should probably fucking work. We're on gonna it, have dude. to delete a lot of episodes. We're gonna have to like delete the loud boys and yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Dude. I sh- no, dude. I was just thinking about this. I was like, I think my social media would be okay if I got a big job, but I would have to delete this podcast immediately if I ever was even up for something. Yeah, absolutely, without question. But yeah, the last big SNL character was fucking Drunk Uncle. Oh yeah, that was like true. six years ago. You didn't even get a movie. Was that? You didn't even get. A I movie. would say like maybe like the last big one was like Stefan. Uh, that, Bill that was the last on one that really was like yeah, that huge. Hit. Yeah. Gilly. Yeah, yeah, that was it. Now their biggest cast member is Pete Davidson playing himself. <laughs> That's like uh, their Pete, only. Pete Ross. I do like Pete, but he's a he's their only like big cast member, right? Who else? Kate McKinnon just yeah, doing the same she, character for Hillary Ruth Bader Ginsburg. But she's not even like Elizabeth a regular Warren. cast member anymore. You know, I say is Ruth, she not? Really? Ruth Bader Ginsburg is looking up at us right now. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> she's looking up Kate McKinnon's skirt. <laughs> All I, those. I wish my pussy looked that good. <laughs> That's a wet ass pussy. I should have got one of those vagina plasties. I probably shouldn't have let any of those Jew dicks in here. Yeah. <laughs> she's oh, Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ruth is a biblical name. Baby Ruth. Mm. Baby Ruth. The Goonies. Is Ruth a biblical name? The b- Book of Ruth. Yeah, the Book of Ruth. Mm. I didn't know. Old that. Testament. Yep, uh, I grew I I grew up in the church. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> I think we need a a wop. A woman as president. Oh my god, mm. we got a wop right here. Yeah, are you Italian? Is that what they were saying to my grandmother? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They thought you were saying your grandma had a wet ass pussy. Oh, there's some whores in this house. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, dude. <laughs> I think Trump will recover from COVID too. It's like a ninety-two percent he, he recovery has. rate. Dude, he's, he's out of the hospital. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, feeling he's better out. than ever. He got out today, six thirty, I think. Do you mm-hmm. think that he forced his way out, or do you think he's supposed Folks to? Yeah. He could have just been like, "Why am I here? Just put this bed in the fucking White House." I'm sick of the hospital. I'm over it. Nixon got a Nixon got a fucking bowling alley. I can't have a hospital. Bed. Yeah, give me a I hospital. Can't, you can't get me a crab medic adjustable bed. Bring hospital here. Back in the old days, and we love the old days, don't we, folks? Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I have no clue what's going to fucking happen with this. I think it might help him. I'm just enjoying the ride, dude. How funny is it if Melania dies and he's like, there, I'm getting rid of the immigrants. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she gets for hating Christmas so much. Yeah. Did you guys I'll tell you that? what, Melania is a babe. She's so oh, yeah, hot. She's Hottest yeah. first lady by far. Yeah. Oh, dude. Leaps Did you, you see that fucking leak tape where she was like, I don't like doing Christmas decorations. Why do I have to do this? Oh, she yeah. said like, because people, nobody gives a shit or something. And she just that. hates that she has a real job. That's what she hates. She wanted to be a fucking housewife. Housewife. Yeah, she. I mean, yeah, she is a trophy a tro- wife. She's supposed to be a trophy wife. She's yeah, supposed to be a housewife. Yeah. No, not even a housewife. She yeah. she wouldn't even want the the duties of a housewife. She's just supposed to be like a rich ass lady. Duties. Like, yeah. Until she divorces Trump and he fucking gets a younger rich like like yeah you know I mean? like that's her job. right right yeah it's just like a meal ticket for fifteen years yeah, which good right. meal ticket yeah and then you get paid off yeah Marla Maples a great life yeah you're done dude. Who, yeah. else did he, who else? Who was uh, Ivana Trump? Ivana, Marla, and Melania's his third wife, I think. Damn. He has a type. Some of his w- weddings seemed awesome. There was one where Howard Stern and OJ were both there. That's fucking awesome. How great would that be, awesome, dude? dude? I would put them in my wedding party. Yeah, me too, man. Honestly, Trump won. Like, he. No, won. he just has one of the greatest lives of all yeah. time. Which is funny why he seems so miserable. Dude, but he, but he like, doesn't drink or do drugs. Like, is it really one of the greatest lives of all time? I mean, it, it's. It's such he's eating taco he kind of proves cheeseburgers like yeah he kind of can't kind of rocks he's also one of the most important men to ever live but he, I don't think he appreciates or grasps any of it he's just like okay cool blah, 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 this is my life no he's he's just a <laughs> he's like Lenny from Mice and Men he doesn't know what's going on he's just, yeah he's just stumbling through he's like a dog like ooh hungry yeah, he's very ooh, like fun it's very like the news cycle and like whatever it's like all it it's just like I'm just going like I don't care there's no plan. Let's fucking go. Yeah, he's yeah. like a dog. Yeah, and he's and he's our dog. He's dude. Yeah, he's our, he's our dog. W-G-A. Yeah, he's a, he's the official dog of the loud boy. He's the loud boy's dog of the week. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we should start giving out dog of the week. Oh, dog absolutely. of the week. Yeah. Okay. Well, this week this it's week Trump. it's Donald J. It's Donald Trump. Trump. J. Trump. <laughs> this week it's President Donald. Just every week, you just say it's Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man. I All can't right. believe how soon this election is. It doesn't. I know, right? Without, with there only being one deba- debate, it, it doesn't feel like it's like really been an election cycle with COVID. No, not at all. The debate yeah. was like the only thing, and it felt like a bizarre debate that didn't even feel real. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, is there are they going to do any more? They were supposed to do one this week. Here's what's crazy: like millions of people have already voted. Yeah, like, and he has to quarantine for two weeks. So I mean, he's supposed to, but who knows if he will? What if they do it during do over Zoom? <laughs> Trump has to do Zoom comedy shows. Oh, he would hate that. He gets Zoom bombed. <laughs> Okay, welcome back to the zoo. All right, who's this fucking idiot? All right, get this guy out of here. He's clicking around. Oh, my God, Yeah, we, we are living in the end times, dude. I'm loving it. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. I'm loving it. Yeah. I'd rather live in the end times. Yeah? What's what's the end stand for? Oh, don't ask me that. Okay. Uh, new things. Okay, good. Oh, nice. The now new this, times. This is a fun time to be alive, honestly. I've I've enjoyed quarantine. <laughs> really? Just because you, you're drinking again. Uh, well, no, I had sex with a hooker. Then I had sex with not a hooker. Then I shit my pants. Yeah, yeah. Like you're living a real rock star lifestyle since the world shut down. I know, dude. I've been doing poppers. Got off a of kratom. I have been going on more dates in my life now. Just because I think it's because I'm not concentrating on comedy. Look at the little Casanova over here, dude. Yeah, dude. Oh, killing it. You have sex with any of them? Nope, not yet. Oh damn! None of them. How many dates have you gone on without having sex? I mean, I just went on three, and but it was in a week and a half span. So that's I, weird. There's a lot three of like different ladies. Yeah. And you had sex with none of them? No. No, it's two different ladies. I went on two dates with one girl. Did you fool around with any of them? Yeah, I made out with one of them. Nice. Did you love them? I like kissing girls. It is weird. I mean, I I'm just. Either I'm a pussy about making a move, or I just like girls move slower with me. I don't, I don't know what it is. I because all my friends will talk you about are like repulsive. <laughs> 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 Take it back. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'll hear my friends tell stories like yeah, like all talking about how they fuck on the first date. That fucking Miles Toe story where you just like, dude, I have never, I've literally never not fucked it. Like, I mean, I've been with my girl for a long time, but yeah. when I was dating, like, I never, maybe second date, and usually yeah. it was like not a date. It was like. I met the girl at a party, and then we hung out. We met up later. Yeah, I'm, I can't. For some reason. Wait, how, how old are you? I'm 37. Let me, let okay. me tell you something, man. If I, if I go on a date with a girl, and she doesn't put out after the first date, there's going to be big problems. Yeah, I'm going to punch her in the fucking face. Like, yeah. So, uh, you, she, they were probably all terrified. That's why they had sex with me. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I, th- yeah, yeah. I, th- I think mine uh, The Joe Gorman method. I think mine uh, Excuse me. I was a very nice man during this date. <laughs> Uh, now, do you want me to unchain you or not? I didn't tell you that you were out of drink tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I think mine and Robbie's issue is social media was around during our formative years. And yeah, I guess that's what it We is. were just inundated with tons of very mentally ill women talking about how men, all men are, like, inherently rapey. And if you just ask a girl out, that that's somehow violence or something i don't know I, someone said that no me. i get i totally get what you're saying because that that existed when i was younger and like you have that in you probably could have like gotten with more chicks if i had pushed but it was like i just did like but like yeah that's, that's got to be way worse that might be guys. my problem it's so scary now mm. because like a friend of mine recently she's like a super feminist told me like yeah you shouldn't Ask a girl out unless you know she's she likes. Was you. it like, Lauren? But how do you know? Cut, Robbie, you know? shut. Cut. <laughs> it was clearly Lauren. Who All else right. would who else would give him such shitty, 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 shitty advice All right. than Lauren, dude? <laughs> but yeah, you, but yeah well, awful you're... advice. Yes, it was Lauren, Robbie. <laughs> Can we Lauren. like end this now? It's... You're clearly setting him up to get him in trouble. And yes, it was Lauren. Lauren, the person who gave him bad advice. Go is on, that, that Irish girl? No. No, this, this is, is a, a div- this is a different Can lass we, altogether. We <laughs> I will tell I will tell Chris this, the, that saga off air cuz we've talked about it way too much on this show. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the issue is. I just assumed it was like cuz I I I think I just grew up just thinking like the the stereotypes like oh you fuck on the third date. So like the first Mm-mm. date, I don't know. I, I just don't expect yeah, anything to happen. Yeah, but you deduct two from everything they say on television. That's true. <laughs> but dude, if you're vibing, man, they want to fuck. If you want to fuck, they yeah, want to. Yeah. A girl is not spending time with you, really. I mean, I guess if you're meeting on like an app, but if a girl knows yeah. you and she's like, "Yeah, let's meet up, just the two of us at a bar that none of our friends hang out at," like, yeah, it seems like she probably has thought about fucking you. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I guess maybe I'm just fr- maybe I'm just going out with a lot of teases. You, maybe you should just there, take what I you mean, want. There is I, don't know, I don't know about that. I think maybe you're just not just pull your cock out, man. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude just pull worst, your worst, dude, I know a yeah. guy. Welcome shoot back to the, woman. shoot your britches. Welcome back to Chris D'Elia's congratulations podcast. No, I know everybody. a guy in his forties who he's been married for ten years, who like we were talking about. Like, you just kind of like you could 
do, like a girl would like rub your cock, you just pull it out. You know what I mean? Like he was like, he's like, I did that to my wife. <laughs> oh, is this Bobby? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, because I've heard this. Uh, that's how Bobby Kelly met his wife. No, 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 no. Like a, a different buddy of mine. Just like he's like he's like that's how he's like that's not how like, he met his wife. But he's like he's like that's the first time we hooked up. I just pulled my cock out, and we've been married for ten years. Wow. Like how romantic. Yeah. <laughs> He's a nice guy. He's a graphic designer. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like the, my my friend who said that, it's like, I don't know how I'm supposed to find if a girl likes me or not if I don't ask her out. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't That's a weird thing for her to say, too. Well, she also said, she said some weird things to me before. Oh, yeah, like, dude. Lauren says a lot of weird things to me. Yeah, Dalton. it's weird that Lauren would say that to you. No, like what? Like what other bad advice has she given you? Well, uh, maybe uh, she's just in love with you and scared to ask you. Uh, if bro, only the opposite, brother. <laughs> brother, she is not in love with me. <laughs> Dawn's asked her out. Uh, uh, he was no, in love with her. I've already talked about this like two other times on the show, but I'll tell you, she sent me a text one time and she said, "She said, oh my gosh, have you seen that show Love on the Spectrum?" And I was like, "No, but I keep hearing about it." And she goes, "I think you should watch it. I think it would really inspire you." Imagine how hard dating is for them, but they still put themselves out there. This is after Dalton confessed. And this is after she told you not to ask girls No, this out. this was uh, before like, that. Just conflicting messages. Is, yeah, totally. And, like, well, like I guess now point. we're talking about it, but, like, during quarantine before all that, I thought I had, like, feelings for her, and, like, we were hanging out a lot, and it was, it was a lot of... There was a lot of conflicting messages. Seems like you should totally stop talking to that girl. Yeah. Hey, buddy. And I bet you end up banging. Oh, wow. Her. Buddy, yeah. these other these two right here have said that plenty of times. <laughs> but like a moth to the flame. No, I mean, we, we're not really talking right now. Oh, no. I'm oh, sorry, no. dude. I know how much uh, you Oh, no, dude. Her. I feel... I, f- I mean, I feel bad saying it. She, if she listens to this, she'll be upset. But Why? I feel good nowadays. We'll dude. have her on the show. Yeah, we'll have her on the show. She's yeah, a, I can't, I can't wait to meet this person. Zoom her in. We yeah. tried. Oh, yeah, she wouldn't do it because she was It's hard to book women. Yeah, women are flaky. They love to flake, dude. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a problem with uh, my dates, too. A lot of them love to flake on oh, me. Oh, no, poor Robbie, yeah. dude. Maybe I just suck. I don't know. No, don't Robbie, know, dude. you just you need confidence, dude. Humiliate yourself and then pull back. You shit your pants, dude. <laughs> shit your pants, Robbie. <laughs> Dalton and I are really so weirdly on very similar and very different in very Yikes. many ways. I mean, with me. Th- I'm just he- so guarded and Dalton's warts and all well dude. here okay so here's what's going on with me. i'm warts and all like, but all my warts and all are lies underneath I, another layer i of grew up shit. that's true i <laughs> but also a lie i grew Ooh. up in an environment <laughs> <laughs> nummy nummy i grew up in an environment down south that was like weirdly <laughs> repressive and mm. i was a very i was scared of everything yeah. because i was told that anything that feels good is bad and you'll go to hell if you enjoy things and I just never had any, I don't know, like actual life experience for the longest time. And honestly, now at 27, I'm trying to like figure out the shit I should have as a teenager. So I'm like, yeah, I'm shitting my pants. I didn't shit my pants as a teenager. Yeah, no. dude, that's, <laughs> not like a, that's not like a teenage thing to no, do. I know. But Remember you know, when you like know your parents mean? are like, as long as you're in my house, yeah. you're not going to shit your pants. Yeah. Fuck you, mom. <laughs> Fuck you, dad. <laughs> rebelliously what am i gonna do with my kid he's out all hours of the night he's shitting his pants he's listening to rock and roll i can't control him <laughs> what happened to my little man <laughs> no <laughs> yeah but you know this, what i mean this visage of teenage rebel rebel without he, a cause he has posters up of like shit pants and <laughs> yeah. stuff like that photoshop some james dean picture <laughs> so there's a visible trail of shit <laughs> He doesn't wash, out of his tight he doesn't wash him. He hangs him on the line so the shit dries on it and he frames that yeah. that's on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he blasts a big fart. You're listening to that devil music, son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. I think we can probably end it there, right? We All got right. we got to go. We're going to Olive Garden with Ooh. Matt Marin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Chris, did you enjoy the show? <laughs> it's been fun. Thanks yeah. so much for you doing it, man. you want to plug your social media? And other yeah, media? at Chris from BKLYN on Twitter. And then just go get Notes of a Goon. That's the new podcast. Uh, I dropped eight episodes all at once last week. Whoa. New episode. If this comes out Wednesday, the new episode, The President Has Cooties, came out yesterday. Awesome. awesome. And this is on iTunes? iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, all the stuff. <laughs> wherever Tom, you get audio podcasts. Tom Myers asked me for advice to how to get his podcast on iTunes because it was like SoundCloud exclusive for a very long time. And I was Tom happy to Myers? help him out. Yeah. You'd think somebody would have figured that out for him by now. It's so he's, he's had that podcast for like six years. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, in the beginning, when I first started podcasting, I was super computer illiterate when I was just doing high society. And uh, I was 
I could not figure out RS, but it was like it was before there was any hosting thing. Yeah, it's, I literally uh, called up our producer once from XM and just started screaming at him, and he was like, "I'll just do it." Did you start on Sirius XM? Yeah, we started. Well, it was before the merger. Oh, okay, yeah, got it, got it, cool. So, did you meet Anthony Cumia? Yeah, I I, <laughs> I met Anthony Cumia a week ago. I like hung out with Anthony a week ago in Gino and had a drink. Oh, where? Yeah, at uh, the bar across from Compound. Oh, did you do it in hot water? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. I thought Gino uh, stopped drinking. Well, he's drinking again. He said he'd lost enough weight uh, so he could drink again. He does look good. Yeah. Great nice. body. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, buddy. For a 52-year-old man, he, he looks great. Incredible. He does look really yeah. good. His headshot of him when he's like 35 looks like me. Uh-oh. It looks just Uh-oh, like Uh-oh, Robert. Yeah. Roberto, what's going to happen to you? I need to get jacked. Dude, you got to get an exercise bike. I got one. It Gino changed my is kind of like my uh, ghost of Christmas future a little bit. Mm-hmm. I kind of feel like you're going to get embittered. Yeah, I'm already bitter. Uh oh. I rant about SNL. Robbie, for some you need reason. to do mushrooms, dude. I do like mushrooms. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do let's some mushrooms. Let's do some mushrooms. Start sniffing poppers. It'd be fucking cool, dude. Shoot something. your pants. You guys are really going to Olive Garden? Yeah. yeah. You want to go to Olive Garden? my heart. But Come Trish's on. is like two blocks away. Right I know, now. but it's a bit. But it's also awesome. We're committed to a bit. Yeah. When, we, when we committed. started the podcast, when quarantine started, we were like, the minute quarantine's lifted, we are going to the Olive Garden in Times Square. <laughs> we're going to get oh, We're going to Times Square? <laughs> yeah. We're going to get There's, butt fucked. The, the price they is there. Open, they didn't open, Mike, they, on the they tickets. They just the opened I it I walked up. by it, and I saw a comic get in a fight with a homeless woman, and I was like, we're back. You, you just you didn't even do You just like walked by I'm it. I'm not doing that shit, dude. Why it's, were you there? I was Wait, we. I Olive went to Garden? the Red Lobster in Times Square with Matt Marin, yeah. and I walked by it. By I was I was going there so I knew where not to, to perform. Yeah. Chris, you want to go Olive Garden? I, 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 I was no, going there to, to know where to stay away. That's crazy. Come on, man. When you're there, your family. Unlimited breadsticks, doggy. What time do you guys got to meet Matt Marin there? Seven thirty. No, seven thirty. Seven thirty. Damn. I'll get a drink with you guys across the street real quick. Okay. All right. Yeah. Hair of the dog for me. Me too. Yeah. All right. Hell yeah, we're gonna hang out. All right. See you guys. Bye. Follow us on social media, please. That was a great app.